Close Your Eyes by Katie Banks and pictures by Gregor Hallensleben. Yaw. Little Tiger lay on its back in the tall grass. Close your eyes, Little Tiger, said his mother, and go to sleep. But the Little Tiger didn't want to go to sleep. If I close my eyes, he says, I can't see the sky. Yes, you can, said his mother, gently nudging him. You can even float among them in the clouds, and when night comes, the moon will hold you in its lap. The little tiger rolled under his belly and listened to the leaves quiver overhead. If I close my eyes, I can't see the tree, he said. But you can, said his mother. You can see many trees, where you can play hide-and-seek until night finds you and brings you all the way home. But I can't see the bird with the blue feathers, said the little tiger. If you close your eyes, you can see all kinds of birds with different kinds of feathers, said his mother. And maybe you can even fly with them. Little Tiger stretched out his paws. But what if I fall? he said. Then I will be there to catch you, said his mother. And what if I get lost, said Little Tiger? Then I will find you, said his mother. So please, close your eyes. Little Tiger closed his eyes. It's dark, he said. Dark like your stripes, said his mother. I'm scared, said the Little Tiger. Don't be scared, said his mother. Dark is just the other side of light. It's what comes before dreams. Can I dream of big mountains where the rain lives? asked Little Tiger. Yes, said his mother. And maybe you can dream of the desert where there is no rain at all. or the ocean, which is as big as the blue sky. And when I open my eyes, will the dreams be gone? asked Little Tiger. Yes, said his mother, nestling close to him. But I will be here. So close your eyes, Little Tiger. The end.